Good evening everyone, Chillapo7 here, and today we're going to play Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Plus. So last time we were um, just reaching Eterna City, and we talked with the champion for quite a little bit, somewhere right here, and we got dragged by Barry by, to looking at the statue and we met Cyrus along the way. And I guess what we should pretty much do in this um, city is to challenge the gym leader. But before we go in, I'm going to show a little bit of a team update here. And let's just show it. So we have Koga at level 21 with Wing Attack, Confuse Ray, Astonish, and Bite. Luppy, level 23 with Metal Claw, Growl, Bubble Beam, and Pack. Luxio, Genchiyo, level 21 with Bite, Leer, Charge, and Spark. Level 20, Leafy with Absorb, Growth, Mega Drain, and Stun Spore. Level 20, Roxanne with Rock Throw, Defense Curl, Magnitude, and Rock Polish. And level 21, Moonshik with Tackle, Double Team, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack. So, we are, our team is kind of prepared against the Grass-type gym. And we should be able to handle it um, very fine without too much difficulty. Oh, and then we need to check our item update. Let me check how many... 5, 5, 4, 5, 5 4, 4, 4, 4. Okay, good. We didn't have any items more than... Um, we don't have in, uh, healing items that have more than 5 capacity here. And the Super Potion down there is still uh, laying down, just begging to be picked up. But I can't pick it up right now. I mean, I can, but I'll have to throw away eventually, which is a complete waste. Anyways, we're going to battle. So, the battle starts now. Welcome! Without further ado, let's go. Alright, so the gym's layout has been changed from Diamond and Pearl. In Pokemon Diamond, Diamond and Pearl, you have to play some sort of hide-and-seek and to search for the trainers, which might, um, which might not be seen because the tree is blocking our view. But anyways... Let's see, level 17, level 17 to Ruby, how would fare? No problem, oh, that's a crit. Oh well, a crit helps too. Anyways, I have Zubat holding the Sooth Bell because I'm hoping to evolve into Crobat at level 23. That's like the earliest you can evolve your Pokemon with a uh, high friendship. You can even get a level 2 Lucario if you kept Riolu for a very very long time and you probably taken how many steps again? I think it's like 65, around 65,000 steps. Or actually a lot easier with Sooth Bell. You only need like about 33,000 steps. Then you can fully maximize his happiness and you would evolve your Riolu, Riolu to Lucario at level 2. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? Anyways, we have to watch the flower petal um, going past its um, clock, which is probably not exact. I think it's designed for us to get through, but yeah. 6.15, maybe the leap should have been a little bit past here, but oh well. They have to do that, um, because otherwise it will be impossible for us to walk through. My grass-type Pokemon can do out some serious special attacks, I won't let you win easily. Um, not all grass-type Pokemon has very high special attack, like... What else would be considered grass Pokemon with, uh, oh, Leafeon, for example, it has high attack instead of higher special attack. And we're up against Baloo again. You don't have Roselia yet? Um, Roselia yet? Oh, speaking about that, I have to be prepared for Rose Raid. This is a serious threat. Okay, we took beat Baloo down. Oh, it's about to evolve soon. Not bad. You got a Badoo again. I mean, you can give me special uh, attacks effort by you, no problem. I can just teach Giga Drain to my um, Crobat. Yeah, Crobat can actually learn Giga Drain. If I were to try and make Crobat as a special attacker, I would have Nasty Plot, Heat Wave, Air Slash, and Giga Drain. But we may not have enough room for other attacks, which is in the case of Formuth Syndrome. We could have had Sludge Bomb too, it's part of um, Stab, and hits very super effectively. But coming off from a base 70 special attack is not quite high. It's like, it's like Persian style um, sp special attacker. <laughs> Anyways, if we can evolve Golbat at level 23, I will be amazed and I will temporarily replace Staravia for now because unfortunately for me Staravia's bulk is quite underwhelming. Even if we resist common types like we resist ground, grass and bug, it's still gonna deal serious damage. Anyways, we can go to the Pokemon Center in case we're in deep trouble, but let me check its stats for, uh, for a little bit. We got... um. 
not bad. It's, it'll make wing attack more powerful. And it doesn't hinder a special attack. I think it hinders special defense. So yeah. Okay, next up, we're battling her. You can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. Let's see, that is, that may be true. You inhale something like dry chili or some, uh, I don't know, anything else. You might get distracted by the smell and you have to like wonder what it is. Anyways, Rosalia's down and I'm pretty sure it gives a lot of experience and she's done. Just like your inability to conceal your abundant skull. I think that's what she said. There's only our gym leader left. Don't go on. Don't be afraid. And we haven't even used a single potion. <clears throat> I guess if you don't have certain types of Pokemon before the gym leader, it, they're going to give you a hard time. Like, for example, against Gardenia, um, there are like some Pokemon on my team that can't handle it. It's going to be um, shellacked by one or two hits. Like, for example, those, those three. Those three will get destroyed, like right away by one of her uh, Pokemon, so... And Staravia, I might consider Staravia as uh, being destroyed too because of its low special defense. But anyways, we're gonna battle her now. You kept me waiting. I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardenia, the Grass-type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning Euro about you. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. I think Eterna City's name after like something like Eternal, like um, like a long lasting life or something like that. Anyway, she, oh, she's out there, Turtwig. You got a starter Pokemon already. You could, it should have been evolved into Grodo, but I guess you don't want to make it too hard. I kind of understand. You still survived, and you set up your reflect. Um, snap. How about Super Potion? Uh, don't go over full health. Oh, you do have full health. Yeah, your Reflex set up. Oh, we got a crit. Crit matters. Oh. I thought you had a Cherubi. Okay, that surprises me. You might be quite bulky for once. And it didn't do half damage. Grass Knot? Um, we quad resisted, but that's, we take like 10% damage at least. Anyways, we're gonna hopefully, hopefully the reflect rolls off. There we go. And you have another one. Sorry, you should have saved it for your ace Pokemon. And we got another crit. Oh wow, you're like the crit magnet. <laughs> like just when we need something. Oh yeah, and also critical hits bypass reflect too. Alright, there's the biggest threat. I think, okay, in the first gym leader, Rourke has a Kranidos with 125 base attack. This one, the Rose Red, has 125 base, uh, um, base special attack. It's quite powerful. It can like, do serious damage, but you're faster than my Golbat? What is this madness? Let me, oh, never mind. Rose Red is dead. But seriously, you can outspeed my Golbat? What's Golbat's base speed? Um, I don't have my cell phone with me, do I? Oh, I guess I do. You're amazing, you're really strong, are you? Yeah, let me... This is bull. Let me check... <clears throat> let me check, um, Golbat's base speed. What the heck? Um, let's see, underused... Sorry, it's gonna take a little bit while here. I just want to check some base speed because it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Golbat. Golbat has base 90 speed. Okay. And what about Rose Raid? Rose Raid has 90 base speed too, so we kind of lost the speed tie. We lost the speed tie. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. Okay, now now I'm now I'm done with my curiousness. <laughs> Rosebray probably had 40 or maybe you have max IVs. Oh, I don't know. If I can catch your Rose Raid, I can, Rose Raid, I can figure out your stats, but I ain't got time to use some external device. No need. <laughs> okay, Grass Knot, unfortunately, is it is a special attack, but it it, uh, it actually has contact. It can hit 
enemies on contact and I'm probably gonna get affected by status or some sort and we didn't use a oh wow I feel sad for this item in the ground it's been littered and and we didn't pick up the super potion at all but the upcoming one is probably harder than Gardenia is um I won't spoil it yet but we do need HM slave out because we need access to HM uh, agent hidden machine um, cut and I just want to make a little bit of rant about a uh, lack of fire type Pokemon in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum. Now in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, the only fire type Pokemon you ever see is the starter Pokemon Chimchar Evolutionary Line and Ponyta Rapidash. That's it. Only five Pokemon in uh, Pokemon. Only five fire types in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl in um, before the National Pokedex. And Pokemon Platinum expands it a little bit, um, so not only um, Chimchar, Infernape, and Rapidash, for example, we got we got uh, one of the evolutions, Flareon, we got Houndoom, I believe, and I guess that's it. Oh, Magmortar, yeah. I think that's a little bit expanding, but it's still lacking in numbers. <laughs> I mean, I could catch a Ponyta from Route 207, which I haven't caught a Pokemon in the route yet. And I think I haven't caught a Pokemon in the route before Eternal City. Is that, like, just when I exit, just when I exit Eternal Forest. I think that was part of the same route. I think it is. Oh well. Anyways, we're gonna briefly go inside the Team Galactic headquarters within three minutes, and we even have time for that. <laughs> Hello, it is me, me, haha. <laughs> I have stored order you, yes? I am, after all, an officer of the International Police. It is only natural that I be a master of disguise. Oh, there he is. Why didn't you, why you take off your cover? Incidentally, you're a first-rate trainer. Of that, I am, I am very aware. aware. I therefore think you'll be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyways. Also, word of advice. The building has two stairs. One of them is a trap, but the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear to be smart. There should be an easy way to tell this third part. Alright. Okay, our level limit has been increased from 27 to 31. So we can only have Pokemon that cannot be level 32 or over. Otherwise, I have to waste a turn doing nothing. And now is a good time to use a Paralysis Heal. And Potion. Of course. Alright. I guess we can battle one... Um, I guess we can do a double battle on the Team Galactic runs, so let's do it! We're acquiring Pokemon for most astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. I am continuing to meddle into um, the team's affairs. Anyways, yeah. I haven't been playing Pokemon Platinum for uh, one and a half year, and I find myself coming back to it. And um, so far I'm enjoying it. Because this is like the first Pokemon game I have enjoyed on the Nintendo DS. I mean, yeah, it, it is the first Pokemon game on the DS. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but I kind of like Platinum more because in Diamond and Pearl, it's kind of, um, it's like it's been slowing down. Like you spend an extra second of text rolling or you surf a lot slower than usual. Anyways, we're gonna destroy those two. Just like usual. If we can even one-shot them. Yes, we can. I guess Koga is powerful than Staravia, though. But Staravia has Intimidate. I don't know what to decide anymore. And you hit me five times in a row. Um, Wait, let me check my Gobat stat once again. Sorry about that. Okay, yeah. Its stats are pretty fine. Anyways, we're gonna destroy it and we're gonna call it a day. We got like a few seconds left. And it levels up again. Yay. I feel like I got meddled with. You're just a kid. No, I'm actually 23. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna end it here. And we're gonna um, we're gonna rescue the Pokemon that has been held captive from Team Galactic headquarters. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.